the next generation of surf life saving, the next generation of Ironman are here and they want a summer of surf win. Oh, Josh, the young, the old, everyone's here. And like you said, everyone wants to win this one. They're running out of time. They're running out of events. They want to get a win. They want to get their name up on the board of the summer of surf. Incredibly, the likes of Cameron Cole and Kendrick Louie are the oldest men in the field at just 26 years of age. Cam Cole, former Australian champion in the Ironman. Tannen Linden finished second that day in one of the best sprint finishes you'll see. But can we see an upset? The likes of Reese Burrows, can he pick up a win? He almost won the semi-final with a huge wave, but I don't know if Lightning will strike twice. The boys make their way out. They have to go under a double up. Cam Cole fires up at the bottom of the screen. The yellow cap with the three black stripes of Alex and Jay Finesse in the centre. The blue cap from Manly goes with him. Well, a good start there from Cam Cole, like you said, Josh. And Jay Finesse is absolutely flying out in front. That's Isaac Costello sitting on his side. He's going to sit with him. He's going to try and ride that wash and hang on in this swim leg to set this race up. We're into the sixth round of the Summer of Surf and four previous round winners are in this final. Kendrick Louie, Corey Taylor, Hayden Allen and of course our leader Jay Finesse. Will we add another name to that list? The only man missing Matt Poole at the moment. So it's been an incredibly competitive summer so far. Different winners, different podium finishes. It's up for anyone and it's great racing. It is good to see, Josh. It's good to see that they're supporting all the events and they're trying to get here to get to as many races as they can. These are great hit outs for these guys, particularly coming into the business end of the season with the national titles not far away. These boys all know they want to get in, get close, get tight and work out who's it in good form. You'll see it all here on Fox Sports and we're seeing it all here with Jay Finesse right up close and personal all up in his business as he makes his way out to the first swim can. Looks like Corey Taylor there right on his hammer. Isaac Costello may have lost his cap. Hayden White, Hayden Allen, they are in four and five. Tannen Linden's there. Looks like Nick Fox is doing it tough early on but we know how good a board competitor he is and Jack Moyes there. He's better than that. Poor old Reese Burrows doesn't enjoy the swim but he's battling hard. Hang in there, Reesey boy. Your big board leg's coming up. Don't let it go now. Jay Finesse wants to set his race up early, though, oh, And he's doing that, Josh. Have a look at Jay Finesse out in front. But Corey Taylor, and I think that's Kendrick Louis who's moved up into third, is chasing hard. Kendrick's certainly one to watch. He's had a win on the board already, as you said earlier in the summer, sir, and he wants to do it all again. The swim's really become a weapon of Kendrick Louis in late years. He has become one of the best swimmers in the sport, that's for sure. He could possibly win the surf race at any of these rounds and the Australian Championships and he likes to use it to his advantage here in the Ironman. Oh, he certainly does and why wouldn't you with a swim leg like that? It allows him to take it easier in the rest of the legs but he won't be taking it here easy here today Josh in this final. Not in the final leave it all out there in the water. The board, board paddlers won't like how close those three, four actual black and white cans are. That is a really short board leg compared to the swim so this could play into the swimmer's hands here and it's definitely playing into Jay Finesse's hands as he rounds the final green and yellow can. Corey Taylor, Kendrick Louie just punch each other all over the final can. And Hayden White swims into fourth place. So that's a great swim from Hayden White. And he's looming up on the outside of Corey Taylor. So not the best swimmer in the field is certainly having a blinder. As is Cam Cole there on his feet. The yellow cap, the three black and white, uh, black stripes, sorry, of Alexandra Headland. And a wave lifts. A wave starts to come. Will Jay Finesse get down it? No, it just gives him a little push. And there's nothing on the horizon. So leading Jay Finesse in second. Kendrick Louie, then Corey Taylor and Hayden White there. That is your top four after the opening swim leg so far. They make their way into the area and it looks like a couple a couple of waves are starting to come on the horizon, but I don't know if they're going to make all that much difference just yet. Not yet, Josh, not yet. They're not into that wave zone yet. When these boys get there, you'd hope that the boys out in front that have done all the work can get a wave by themselves. But what tends to happen is these boys pick up waves, they get lucky from behind, and that's what we call the jag. And the jag has been on so far at Freshy today. It'll probably be on here again in this Ironman final. Jay Finesse swimming all over the ocean. He keeps looking back out to sea, hoping there's a wave. Put your head down, Jay. Go for home, mate. Don't stress it. There's nothing coming. They push hard for home. It 
looks like the rest of the field are swimming into this break zone and they're really looking for a wave. So Finesse, the blue cap on the left-hand side. Then it's Kendrick Louie, the yellow cap, two maroon stripes on the right. There is a Noosa cap on the far right-hand side. He'll go down a wave. We've got one on it. We've got two on it. We've got three on it. Hayden White falls off. So it's just Jay Finesse, Kendrick Louie. They lead out in front. So Kendrick Louie goes to the front. Jay Finesse gets a little push. And then they're coming from the sky out the back. So the Jag is on. The Jag is on there. One man's got it all the way through the field. That's Max Brooks. So a great performance for Max Brooks to go into third place. And Kendrick Louie, Jay Finesse will stand up one, two after the opening swim leg. But there's been changes. There has been plenty of changes. Cam Cole stands up. Tannen Linden stands up. He's got lucky. Max Brooks has got lucky as well. So what about that Jag there as Kendrick Louie leads us round? Jay Finesse, James Lacey, Hayden Allen, Corey Taylor. Where's Hayden White? He has really gone backwards after that one. Cam Cole sucking in the big ones as he goes round. Mackenzie Heinard looks like he's doing it tough as well, but he's heading into his more favoured legs. The board, swim, board, ski. Max Brooks, he starts to fire up. He's the New South Wales board champion and certainly one to watch here. He's had a great summer so far. He finished third in the opening round. He got a runner-up finish at Alexandra Headland and he'll be looking for a big win here. Jay Finesse, he's our defending series champion. Won the grand final last year at Newport Beach, just up the road. It was a bit of an upset win, but he's proved this year that it was no fluke. Well, Jay Finesse is certainly one that's been in great form in the summer of surf in the past couple of years, and last season in particular. But Jay Finesse also took a win last round at Torquay. He's certainly in good form, and another man in good form is James Lacey. Goes to the front, isn't content to let other men dictate what he wants, and he wants a race win. He finished runner-up last round to Jay Finesse, so he's in a purple patch of his own. Speaking of purple, that is Tannen Linden on the purple board. Max Brooks and Cam Cole make their way out to see Jack Moyes there really trying to get things moving as is Corey Taylor, the 2014 Kiwi Ironman champion, professional series competitor an all round nice guy trying to get into this race at the moment so in one, Kendrick Louie on the blue board, James Lacey there, the white and orange on their hammer it looks like Hayden Allen from the Wanda Club just rests as he heads around that first can, oh and a little bit of push and shove for Max Brooks, he's trying to get the job done. Cam Cole looms up on the inside there. He is four deep on the inside. Tannen Linden and Jay Finesse are going wide. And Jay Finesse, he doesn't mind doing it three wide. He knows he has to do it if he's going to get the job done. Well, we've seen Jay Finesse drop a few spots there, Joshua. He's sitting back in equal fourth with Max Brooks. Kendrick Lewin, James Lacey doing a great job out in front. Hayden Allen's happy to just sit there. He's getting towed along by the boys. He's just riding the wash. He wants a trip back to the beach. He will be waiting for the final ski leg. One man who will not wait for the final ski leg is Max Brooks as he tries to get involved. He pushes hard down that runner and into the lead and up next to club mate Kendrick Louie. So these two pushing for a wave. Louie joins them as well. Hayden Allen falls off as does James Lacey. So devastating for the two on the right there. But what about the Newport boys? We saw them go one, two and three in the opening round at Karawa. Can they do it again here? Go one and two. Kendrick Louie, Max Brooks they have a little chat. They know they've got a work together in this ski, they will work hard on the way out and try and make sure that they finish in one, two, and Max Brooks knows he wants it, gets up and gets going. Well, we see these boys hit the sand, Josh, and they hit it hard and they hit it fast. They want to get themselves around this transition onto their skis and through that break as quick as possible. This is a gap that can really win them the race right now. Anyone who thinks transitions don't matter in Ironman racing is mad because it is the fourth leg, that's for sure. The two Newport boys, they've flown around the two flags and onto the skis. Look at Max Brooks, hops up and leaves Kendrick Louie behind. So Kendrick Louie, he's got a little bit of work to do if he wants to stay with his younger counterpart at the moment. Newport one, two, James Lacey in three, Hayden Allen in four. Those two will be heartbroken after that wave just filled up on them on the way home and left them with this kind of gap to try and get a win. Max Brooks gets the ski up and moving up and over, gets a little bit of air time. And then the rest of the field was chasing hard from behind. Mackenzie Heiner, this is his best leg. Jay Finesse has gone from first to about 10th in one board leg. That is not the leg you want. Absolutely not, Josh. And Mackenzie Heiner might be one to work himself back into this ski leg, but they've got a lot of work to do if they're going to catch the likes of Kendrick Louie and even more so Max Brooks, who are out in front and going to take this race by the horns. Have a look at James Lacey. Revs things up. He's going to try and drag Hayden Allen back into the lead. Hayden Allen doesn't look content to do any of the work, but James Lacey, he knows if it's got to be done, it's up to him. Ben Carberry there. Jack Moyes goes 
goes up and over one. Tannen Linden's about to get belted, as is Jack Moyes. He stops and gets absolutely smashed. He goes backwards. Back shot there for Jack Moyes. We pop up. Where is he? Oh, he's off the side of his ski. You don't want a second swim leg, Jack. Get back on and get going. It invites the rest of the field. Mitchell Allen, he's in the mix at the moment from the Wanda Club there. Jay Finesse is still trying to get through Mackenzie Heinard, but back to our leaders. And look at the gap. It's a one-can lead. You'd think these two would work together on the way home. They're going to both try and push down a wave. Kendrick Louie gets back on the front. He's taking in the big ones now because he knows the sprint may be on. Kendrick Louie pushes hard, just sits up, turns around. He knows that there's a wave on the way. He knows that something's coming. It doesn't look like Max Brooks is doing much either. They're just both going to push down this one. So Max Brooks pushes down this one. Kendrick Louie waits. He lets his club mate go. He says, not today. So Kendrick Louie may have screwed this one up. He may have let his club mate go. Can Max Brooks hold on to it? Kendrick Louie's just handed this one. But no, Kendrick Louie fires up again. He's got a smile on his face. Can he do a Clint Robinson? Can he paddle over the top of a wave? He's done it. He's back in the mix. We rode him off, but not today. Kendrick Louie, he fires up and goes, to the front. What a performance this might be. He's in the lead. Max Brooks said, where the hell did you come from? Kendrick Louie's up and he's away. I've not seen a finish to an Ironman race like that in a hundred years of surf life. Saving that is incredible. Let's the wave go. Paddles over the top. Claims an Ironman win. Kendrick Louie, you are a superstar and that is one of the best summer of surf performances you will ever see. Claims round six at Freshwater Beach. Take your hat off to Kendrick Louie. You are a champion. Well, how was that ski speed, Josh? Over the top of that wave and then went on and paddled away from it. A phenomenal effort there from Kendrick Louie. Wins ahead of club mate Max Brooks. James Lacey rounds out the podium. He finishes on the podium for the second straight week there. Kendrick Louie, you are incredible. Max Brooks finishes second. James Lacey third. Alan Carberry, Taylor, Linden and White round out our top eight. We look further down the page. Jay Finesse, after leading early, faded well to the back. Alex Wright, Costello and Fox rounds us out. It's great to be back. I uh, apologise for not, you know, being able to attend more of these and... You know, I've just been flat out with the Kellogg series and now it's over. I'm just so happy that I'm back racing in this. It's so much fun. And, you know, Maxie and I got one too then. And it was just, it's what it's about, you know, helping your mates and, you know, and really enjoying it. Feel good out there today? To be honest, I felt rubbish. Um, I don't know, I think it was a bit of heat stroke from yesterday and turned up today and did the semi and I was like, oh, shit, I don't know if I'll do the final. And I thought, you know, I've, I've never won an open Ironman here at Freshwater Carnival before, so... That was a big incentive for me, so um, yeah, I can tick that box now. And third place was enough to hand James Lacey the lead in the overall point score after six rounds. Only one point ahead of Max Brooks and Corey Taylor. So we're going to have a fight to the finish, that's for sure. Kendrick Louie all the way down the page, but only has three results, three podiums so far. Watch for him to skyrocket when he gets his fourth.